Today I'm going to teach you how to do a very simple but effective technique called water reflections. First you want to pick out your photos and arrange them on your page. Then what you want to do is the photo that you want to reflect, you're going to copy and paste it. Once you've pasted your photo, you need to go into your layout tab and you want to flip it vertically. Once it's been flipped, just by eye you can drag your photo down and line it up underneath your first photo. Then you can lock it in place. Then you can find some water paper in your art collection. There's actually a collection called water paper. I've already chose one from this collection off to the side here, so I'm just going to bring it out to the front. And I'm going to line it up right underneath the original photo again. Once it's in line, if I go to my effects tab, I can take the transparency scroll bar and just scroll it up until you can start to see your flipped photo coming through. And that's how you get your water reflection. Now to finish off this page, I've also pre-selected some embellishments. You can easily copy and paste these as well. Make sure when you're moving stuff around, once you get something moved, you want to lock it in place. That way you won't move anything by accident. Now these embellishments here, they're kind of fading in with my background sand. So what I always like to do is add a drop shadow to all my embellishments. It gives it a more of a three-dimensional look and it looks more realistic on my page. You also want to make sure when you're using drop shadows just to have a very subtle one. If you have a, um, a great big drop shadow, the bigger and further away it is, it makes it appear as if it's floating off your page. And that's not really the look that you want in most cases. So I always keep mine usually around the default of two. And that's how you do the water reflections.